Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching Mr. T Garage. Working on this 21 RAM and what is happening is these rear park centers they have codes they don't want to work. So what I'm gonna do is I know that these are working. The ones in the front, the ones in the back, none of them are working. <clears throat> See, it shows the distance in inch, and number one and number three, and these are all stuck in the same. And if I get close to one of those sensors, then the distance changes. This is number one. It changed. And I'm gonna go by number three. It changed, so what I'm gonna do is borrow this sensor, swap tronics, move it to this sensor and see if it works. Hopefully it's the same part number, same sensor, but let's see if it works, if my plan works. No, so that plan does, doesn't work. They're different. They don't plug in exactly the same. But now, number one, the one that I disconnected, it's showing at 99.45, the same as these other ones. So, already checked voltage getting to the sensors let's see am I on ground nope I'm on voltage okay let me hook it up to ground okay so this is number one and lights up so I just got to check communication and see what's um, what's missing maybe it's the module that is bad so I'm checking ground here and power here I do have power if I touch this to ground because I'm connected to power there if I touch ground this lights up and this is my number 36 this is supposed to be ground and if we look at the test light it lights up this gray blue wire sorry gray blue wire which is this gray blue wire here and nothing happens to the test light but if I touch ground works nothing here so we got an open somewhere in the harness. Can I find it? <clears throat> See if I can find it. So I'm connected with the ohm meter here and I'm trying to see if these are in line, <clears throat> which are not. Connected here, pin 36. Checking this one. So this is the one that comes from <clears throat> Pin 36, and if I connect to it, it'll start beeping. So I would have to jump it would have to jump this one to the rest of the network or the uh, the other sensors. 
to get um to get a signal on the sensors. But since this is broken, I don't get a signal. I'm gonna fix it and then see if I get a signal here on these on the ones I go to the sensors. That's where I'm at. So look what I found. It's open right there. It's supposed to be a splice <clears throat> between this oops. Between this sensor and then this sensor. Splice. That splice. It's uh <clears throat> SX750. And it's open. So that's why there's no ground to any of them. I'm going to repair it and see if that, that'll fix it. So yeah, I'm connected to pin 36 here. Black lead. And on this very last one, or I think it's number 7. And it is working. And... That's what they look like now. Let's check this other sensor. Yep. So we got continuity on all of them. I'm just gonna uh, check, keep checking all of them. Powers and then signals to the sensors. Probably see if they get a, see if they want to get a new one, a new harness, or just fix this one. But I'll fix it and then see if there's any other sensors that are bad. But so far, it's working. This is after fixing the wires. I already tested it. I know it works. I'm just going to show you. No stored messages. Let's put it in reverse. And it works. There we go. All of them read. Perfect. Thanks for watching.